Hi flower friends, it's Nicole from Flower Hill Farm. I am out here this morning grabbing some flowers because it is CSA Bouquet Day. As you can see, I have a ton of zinnias right now. Um, I'm not harvesting them all, I'm only grabbing what I need. I'm not having a bouquet bar this weekend. The weather for Saturday looks atrocious. It's the remnants of Hurricane Laura. Um, and Sunday I am doing a senior photography um, photography shoot, so I am unable to open the, the bouquet bar on, on Sunday. So. Um, I'm gonna grab some dahlias and then go to the porch and then put, I think I have like maybe seven or eight bouquets to put together. So I'm gonna go get the supplies. So this is actually a pink pearl dahlia, but it's almost purely white. It's gorgeous. The only evidence that it's a pink pearl is on the back side. There is a tiny smidge of a pinky lavender stripe on the back. I love when they do this. You know, clearly if I was growing this for a certain event and I needed a pink pearl dahlia, fine, but I am just growing these um, for pure pleasure. Well, clearly I'm selling them, but if something has a variation, it's not like I have a bride that needs eight pink pearl dahlias on Saturday, so I love when they do this. It's so fun. I apologize for the road noise this morning. People are headed to work. So this is an Alfred Grill Dahlia and it's marvelous. Take this bag off. Oh. oh, it's not all the way open yet, which is great. Uh, it's just about there. I'm gonna transfer this bag over to another bud that's coming. And then this has got a nice I mean, it's not super long, but that's a decent length for uh, for my dahlias anyway. Okay, so I'm back on the porch and I am, it's getting warm, it's not even hot. I don't know what's wrong with me. Like, it's muggy. It's, the high today is only 72. Walking around with a sweatshirt was comfortable, but I think when you're harvesting and you work up a sweat. Anyway, I had to take the hoodie off. I'm dying. So I have, um, one, two, three, four, five. Five bouquets to make right now to take to my CSA delivery. Um, and then I have more for tomorrow, but I'm just gonna work on the ones that I need for today and then I'll do the ones for tomorrow later. Um, so I have four $20 bouquets and then someone put in an order for a $30 bouquet. So I'm going to work on putting those together. One has requested no lilies. So I'm gonna make that like a gladiola heavy. I know they like gladiolas. They've gotten three of them so far from me. So I'm gonna make that a gladiola and filler heavy. So what are the ingredients today? Okay, glad you asked. We have rose lilies. <sighs> I don't have any Gina flowers today, guys. Gina had a major um, florist um, order. So she gave all of her flowers, well, didn't give them away. She sold all of her flowers this week to her one of her florists. So. We have the rose lilies, which the first one or two is already opening up. The aroma is just intense and glorious. And um, I'm getting rid of any of the little leaves that have bug damage. And then the other ones will open in the vase. So that's what we have. We have a rose lily. We have another lily. Hold on. We have these, which they're kind of all kerfubbled in here. We have these, uh, and these are oriental lilies, and these are also deliciously scented. And uh, so a little um, weirdness that happened with these lilies is usually the buds will open, and then the pollen will form on those little stamens. All right, hold on. I gotta make a phone call to a superintendent, apparently. Hi, Tanya, it's Nicole Pitt. Ed just called me, and I missed the call. <laughs> Where was I? Literally don't remember, so this could be totally off. Okay, so I was going through what I have to offer this week in the bouquets. So, while I, so I had to redo a little bit of a video, and while my video was exporting, I went and harvested some more stuff, so I have even more. Look, this is, okay. So I mentioned Jerusalem artichoke in a video, and people were like, what? I don't know, what? This is Jerusalem artichoke. This is one stem, and it's about as tall as me out in the field, so I cut it right there, and I took off two of the lower stems. Um, so this 
is Jerusalem artichoke and it's pretty invasive. It takes over an area which last year I was yanking them out when they were little because I didn't know what they were but after I realized what they were they look like little sunflowers and I love them. So I'm leaving them in my landscape. And then I have some of my Lysianthus that I harvested and I have a few more I think. So I've got some of the gold Lysianthus. Gorgeous. And then I do have a couple of dahlias but I'm waiting to hear back on whether someone wants a dahlia or not. Um, so I have some Alfred Gill Grill dahlias and well you saw me just harvesting them. You know what I have. Okay, so then I have in this bucket I have a lot of my Celosia and Red Spike Amaranth and my Gumfrina. Oh look, I have some more Lysianthus right here, uh, Scabiosa. And then check this out. This is what happens because I was neglectful of my Scabiosa field. Ooh, bumblebee. This is what happens to the bee wants me. This is what I'm trying to get to focus. Maybe I step out to the scabiosa once the petals fall off. So it's a really cool texture. So similar, but not the same to, hang on a sec. So these are both scabiosas. This one is the star flower with that awesome, those little stars in there. And then this one is a different scabiosa, but they both have that really cool shell, make for some really great texture in the bouquets. I'll put that there. And then this is pompous plume celosia. I think this is florette. So I did order three seed packets from Erin at florette because I love everything she does. And I think she's amazing. Um, and guys, I haven't yet, but I am pre-ordering that Dahlia book. I'm pre-ordering it because she posted on um, Instagram the other day and Facebook, all of her um, socials that if you pre-order the Dahlia book, she's sending you some goodies. So I'm all about getting goodies. So I am uh, pre-ordering the Dahlia book. I do have her other two books. Um, I First, I got them from my library. Guys, that's another solution for you guys. If you can't afford to get these books right now, most of your local libraries have all of these gardening books. They did not have Alan Armitage's book because I, I asked and I used to work at my local library. I'm pretty sure I used to work everywhere, but I used to work at my local library, so I'm friends with them. So I, my friend Carrie, I was like, hey Carrie, do you have Dr. Armitage's book on um, specialty cut flowers? And she, she was like, oh, we don't, but let's get it. Check your local library for any of these books um, that you maybe can't afford right now, but would like to check out. Just do it. So this I bought from Florette. This is a pompous plume celosia and I think I bought one was the like a rose pink which is I think I used it in a bouquet already. I have more. I should go cut it. Oh I wanted to use I'll go cut more. Um, so it's a beautiful rose pink color and then I also bought these like craniums from her. You know the brain things. I did get one from Johnny's though so I don't I don't know which one is which but um, anyway, I bought two, three, three. So I bought two pompous plumes and then one of the Celosia mixes. And then she sent me a free seed packet because that's what they do. You order a certain number, you get a free seed packet. So anyway, so I have those. Uh, oh, I, I have the zinnias that I just harvested. Oh, I feel like I need to bring everything to you guys so you can see them. Um, this is one um, little bucket. Look. I love my Oklahoma pinks, guys. They're smaller. The Oklahoma pinks are smaller than, say, a queen lime orange, but I love them. Okay. There's more dahlias here. Then there's the, the green celosia. These uh, cranium celosias. I got, you know, you pull all the leaves off and you just use uh, the weird distorted head. <laughs> People love it. People love it. And then I've got some of the, the red ones. And then I have the red spike amaranth. Come on now, guys. You saw this in my photo. Look at I'm removing all the little leaves. This is going to be my first time using the red spike amaranth in bouquets. And they're just so awesome. The texture is amazing. The color is amazing. Um, I feel like there, to me, there's a little bit of white spots on them which is not you know whatever I'm using it it's amazing look at the color look at this color Blech. 
Oh, don't look at my back. It's an open shirt. It's a summertime beach shirt. I was sweating so much. I need to shut it. Don't look at my back. All right, what else do I have here? Oh, I have some of the foxtail grass. More of the, the foxtail grasses. Ooh, frosted explosion. I have frosted explosion. Way over here. You know what it looks like, frosted explosion grass. And then I have, I have buckets of glads. Oh, thumbnail for the video. Okay, ready? Okay, I have buckets of glads. And I have a bucket of sunflowers. You guys saw me bringing those at the beginning of the video. All right, that's, those are the ingredients to the bouquets today. Let's make it happen. I am on a time crunch, guys. Oh, I do have a couple pieces of snow on the mountain. That's Gina's from last week, it's still good. All right, let's make this happen. Mm -hmm. I'm just putting in some peachy corals. I'm taking this one out. It's too orangey for the, my peachy corals. Okay, so then I want. Two whites. Was I talking to you guys about the lilies? Okay, I was, I think when my phone rang. So these lilies, the stamens, normally don't get pollen until after they're open because of the intense heat that, okay, so this is an example. This, oh, sorry, sorry. This is a stamen, stamen, John Stamos. This is a, a stamen and they open and they're smooth. And then over time, they get orange and yucky. Thought someone was here, they're not. Um, and they get all over the flower. You're supposed to take them off before they get orange and yucky and all over the flower and I'll show you why. A, they're poisonous to cats. B, they make the flower dirty. I'm so nervous. Okay, so look at that flower right there. It's filthy. It's filthy. She can get off. Oh my god, they're so strong. Usually lilies are so delicate. Look how filthy that flower is. Guys, the focus needs to focus. It's filthy because the pollen, because of the heat, started to create inside the bud while it was closed. And so when it opened up, it already had pollen all over it. It's not supposed to be like that. What the thrip? <laughs> oh, guys, it looks so good. Sunflower. Some gold free. And a little stick of celeria. Oh, please don't crack. Crack is bad. Don't crack. Okay. Okay. Thoughts? Thoughts on this? The sunny needs to come down just a touch. Your petals, and you, they need to be pushed down. Make your bed. <laughs> okay, so I think I might add a couple more glads to poof this up because I want my CSA members to be like, wow, this week. So I think I might add a pinky pink. Oh, yas, 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 gorgeous. Ooh, ooh. ooh, dark pink happening. I don't know. I, I don't know. All right. Yes. 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 Sorry, it's hard to see. There's a fly on my camera. Get the bay. Get the bay. Okay. Sorry, you guys. I have to move things. There. 
there. So, I think the first one's done. It's full of love. So it has lilies, two lilies, one, two, three sunflowers. It's got one, two, three, four, five, six glads and a whole lot of um, deliciousness in here. Oh, I'll probably put some basil. I have basil. Oh, I didn't tell you about the basil. I've got basil. Mrs. Burns citrus lemon basil. Oh yes, some of it went to seed, guys, so. Getting rid of the seeds. <laughs> oh, it's so lovely. Okay. This is a lot of flowers for my CESA. So excited, okay. All right, I gotta get cranking on these because I am running out of time. All right, let's use this Jerusalem artichoke and let's go with reds, yellows, and oranges. Boom. Wait, did I already give someone that? Yeah. Oh, so, so last time I, uh, my CSA member Claire got a bouquet, it was purples, oranges, and yellows. So I wanna shy away from that for her this time. So I'm gonna go with um, some pinks and whites for her too. already and I've only put glads and the lilies in oh my gosh oh. <sighs> oh, I'm gonna put a stem of the xanthus in oh yes it's lovely oh, I didn't put these zinnias in let's do some buttercream zinnias oh, yes. I have three buttercream zinnias screaming to be in this bouquet get rid of more of the lily fillet Oh, he's got a little hook on his end. Look at him. He was fighting me. Tooth and nail. He's got a tooth. <laughs> okay. <gasps> oh, a sad one there. It wasn't in water. Guys, so my red spike amaranth, let's talk about it. So I started three different trays on three different occasions and I have one plant. And that plant is four foot by four foot by seven foot tall. And it's producing probably 20, 25 spikes. Next year, I am not gonna let that go. Okay, so it had, I think it had a little bit different watering needs than the celosia that I had it next to. So I, on one of my shelving stations, I had amaranth, Celosia, boom, and Feverfew. So I had that all over there on one of my shelves. And the, sh the Feverfew and the Celosia had like the same watering needs, but I would go down to water and the Feverfew and the Celosia would be fine and the Amaranth would be like leaning over on its side and it just, it doesn't recover well. So you have to keep an eye on it. You have to watch it. I'm probably gonna pay my kids to watch the seedlings this year, make sure nothing dries out. This is gorgeousness on its own, but let's floof it up. Cause I'm not having a bouquet bar this week guys. So let's amp it up. Okay, I'm throwing in a white sunflower. I'm throwing in a plum sunflower just cause. Oh my God. Would you look at the plum sunflower with the amaranth? Oh, I'm so happy that I ordered that for next year. My geo order is in guys. Not gonna talk about it now. We'll, we'll talk about it another time, but it's in. What else do I want? I don't wanna bring any of the oranges in, but I will bring in some basil from the basil. Glorious. Ah! So there's a greenery. Okay, so I added a red hedge sunflower right there to give it some depth in the back because it's got the depth in the front with the red hedge depth in the back and I also added a couple pieces of frosted explosion grass okay I need something else a couple more gladiolas I'm gonna put a white one in the back 
It needed two more gladiolas, so I added two more gladiolas. Okay. Look at the butter yellow. Ooh, this one's no good. It's got a brown spot on one of the leaves there. No good. Oh! It's an ambulance. A rusty old ambulance. This butter yellow is much better, much better. We put it in right there, okay. <gasps> so more of these will open. I've got this big fat fatty right here. So plump, so delicious. That will open up, um, I would say two days from now. Same with this one right here, that will open up. And then this lily is opening. That lily will open up, one, two, three. There's like four more lilies in here. This thing is gonna be <sighs> amazing. It already is. It already is. Okay. Click, 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 click. Who's next? I like that some, sometimes I know my CSA customers so I know um, what their preferences are. And a lot of times because of my socials, they'll comment like, oh my God, I love that color or some flowers are my favorite. So I know um, I kind of cater and this is not best practice if you're trying to move fast and make money doing this, but I like to make that connection with my customers and um, I want them to feel like the bouquet was personally made for them. And having only 18 CSA members, I feel like I can do that. Although, I think I'm down to 14 now. I think four used them all up. This is another example of where the pollen has made the, the lily gross looking. So I'm just gonna take, and I guess I should have done this earlier. I just didn't realize it was happening so quickly. It doesn't usually happen this fast. So they're dirty. You dirty, you lily, dirty lily, dirty lily. Lily's watching, I know she is. <gasps> okay, I found one that's not dirty. Um, Veda's got the bed head going on. Oh, oh, ah. God. Ah. See ya. Ah. I don't tell them when I'm recording. I just, they just should assume that it's always happening. So I've got my girlfriend, Lily, Lily, Lily. And then I'm going to pump it up with oranges and reds and, uh, uh. Oh, I have a new one. How do I have a new one? I think this is new. Check that out. It's white with, it's like a coral innard throat, if you will. Um, it's new to me. I love you. Oh, perfect. It goes perfect. Okay, so because I'm doing the orange and red theme with this one, I am not gonna use the pink lily. So I'm gonna give her two of these white lilies. And the, the white lily does have the pink striping inside, but some is some is more than others. And uh, I'm gonna give her one that's not even open at all yet. No, you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this one. I am, I'm gonna do this one. It's huge. So I'm gonna take this off because that's, that's nothing. That's not gonna open. You know what, I'm just gonna leave it there. It's texture, it has texture. She can enjoy it. Holy guac, putting two lily stems in a bouquet is not easy. Wow. Let's fill in this with some orange celosia. Oh, wow. Mm-hmm, yep, mm-hmm. You are gonna look beautiful. Gonfrina, thrips. <gasps> Yes. More of me, please. Thank you. I haven't even stepped back and looked at this yet, but I feel it. Oh, God. Cleaning it up. I'm just cleaning all the little leaves and stuff off of it. Oh, I'm leaving the ones with the with the pollen on it. It's okay. It's okay. All right. Oh, 
This is funky, guys. This is funky, and I'm so excited. All right, let's snip her up. I'm feeling a gold Lysianthus here. And a gold Lysianthus here. Guys, these are so much... To me, this is so much value for my CSA member. Oh, hit the fan. I hit the fan. Okay, it's getting difficult. Oh, wow. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, all right. <sighs> Gonna go snip. I want this on my table, oh, but my kitty cat. We got this. She said no lilies. So this is my customer with no lilies. So we're loading this up with everything else. So Nancy loves sunflowers and gladiolus. So I am putting in, oh look, there's a crab spider. It's on this petal right here. Don't you dare crab at me. Um, you probably can't see him, but he's right there. So let me get him off. Pardon me. No, no, you have to, thank you. Stay there, just don't drink my drink. Okay. Um, so I'm doing this little gorgeousness. I'm gonna give her some Lizzie's. <gasps> also, she was very, she commented on this. So I'm gonna give her some of the red spike amaranth because she definitely commented on it and said, I love this. So I'm going to put it over here. And I'm gonna have to get a second spike of it, but it, it's tired, it's tired. It's okay though, it'll wake back up. It's been out of the water, so I'm gonna clip it so that it has a fresh, a fresh life in the bouquet. Yeah. Okay, that's it. Yeah, I'm gonna put that dahlia in and then the whole bouquet's gonna be this tall. Uh, yeah. That's it, that's happening. She's already got some of that fancy stuff, so I'm gonna give her. Okay, we're a little more gonfrina on this side. Oh, it fell down. Oh no, it broke! The gonfrina down! Gonfrina down! So I'll just put another little scabiosa over here. Scabiosa on the side. And then a couple of these scabiosa heads over here too. And that, ladies and gentlemen, running out of options, here I am, moving the zidia, moving the zinzins. That's still too short, that's still too short. What am I supposed to, all right, I'm going to move these lilies. And put it here. Nope, uh, uh, nope, 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 nope. One, two, three, four. Can't fit through the bathroom door. Do you guys remember that? Comet, it tastes like Listerine. Comet, it makes your teeth turn green. Comet, it makes you vomit. So get some Comet and vomit today. So we used to have campfires and stuff when we were little kids and we used to sing all these songs all the time. I'm the oldest of 17 grandchildren and uh, I'm the elder that's what they call me yep so I mean it's not because I'm super smart or anything but that just goes without saying all right number five number five we have um, this is ten ten look at the pollen on my hands don't let my kitty cat sniff me okay I'm gonna run out of um, recording time so I'm gonna pause it come back cameras doing funky things anyway all right, so I have one bouquet. Now, this is not a CSA member. This is someone who ordered a $30 bouquet to pick up this afternoon. So I'm going to make that. And then I have more CSA members coming tomorrow, but I'm not going to worry about those until tonight or tomorrow morning. Probably tomorrow morning because I'm going out to dinner for the first time in six months tonight. 
Six months. All right. I changed my mind on the Jerusalem artichoke. This is going to the $30 bouquet. All right. Let's do a little bit of this one. Caterpillar. Yellows. Greens. And oranges. And more. Excuse me, Mr. B. And reds. Oh! It's lovely. Sorry, Mr. B. I'm just going through my flowers. I grew them, not you. Thrilled already with this. Thrilled. This is screaming fall to me, and I am so excited about it. This is for you, Sarah. Sarah ordered this, and I know Sarah watches my videos. Sarah lives in a town adjacent to mine. Hi, Sarah. I don't know Sarah, other than she came to a bouquet bar once and told me she watches my videos. So hi, Sarah. Making this for you. And guess what I'm putting in it? Straw flower. So when Sarah came to my bouquet bar, she added a little straw flower in for her daughter's little bouquet. It's tiny and adorable. I have two of them that I picked just for you today. Um. Sarah, no, 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 attack me, don't attack me. I just, I'm just doing the flowers. I... I want to put this dahlia in like really bad, but it's already a couple days old and I don't think it's going to last long and I don't want to do that. Putting those two in though. Oh my God, what a mess. All right, so if I were to add this up with my bouquet bar, I sell three for five glads. One, two, three, four, five, six. So that's $10 in glads. I do three for five sunflowers. So I'm gonna count the Jerusalem artichoke as one. So there's three for five sunflowers, sunflowers so that's 15. And then each of the dahlias were $3 each at my bouquet bar. So that's another six, so that's 21. The straw flowers are a dollar a piece, 22, 23. And then um, the celosia and this stuff was between 75 cents and $1.50 each. So I'm gonna go with that. It's like 25 or $26 so far. So I'm gonna add some more stuff in it to make it a gorgeous $30 bouquet, even though it's already gorgeous. Oh, I'm gonna add a couple of stems of Lysianthus, which, these are single stems, so these, this would be a $2, a $2 stem for Liz on my bouquet bar. I'm gonna add some fox grass. Make a bunch of it on each side. is in there for fun because I like to give my customers more and I just love this color palette it's like the, the peach oh uh, I think that might be it guys I don't know should I give her I don't think I, I don't think a lily would fit in this super oh a red sunflower a red sunflower
there. Yeah, okay. And you know what? Just because, because I don't know if they're even gonna recover from this. Hey, they're kind of cool looking hanging over the edge, right? All right, so the red spikes. Okay, all right, I'm clipping this, and this is my $30 bouquet. I mean, Jesus, I'd walk down the aisle with this, right? Oh my God. <laughs> my friend Diane brought me this the other day and said that she had flowers in it on her desk for a long time, and um, it just happened to be absolutely perfect to set this into display um, until my customer gets here. I don't think she's coming until um, later this afternoon. So anyway, uh, what else was I gonna do today? I'm gonna make Snapdragon, like um, pinching my Snapdragons another video because I've already like rambled on for like half an hour on this video, I think. So anyway, thank you guys so much for joining me as I make my CSA. I'm gonna go deliver them and I'll be back probably tomorrow with my um, pinching my Snapdragons and guys, a deer got in the garden. We'll talk later. Bye.